<laughs> I guess sometimes you just want to eat your own foot. The other day, I was uh, sitting there recording videos, and uh, I just noticed that he was like slowly scratching his ear. And I just like, I was like, something funny is probably about to happen. So I just pulled out my phone and started recording, and then he, he tries to take a bite out of his own foot. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode of Super Koopa Sunday, baby. Yes, Koopy, it's your special day. Yes, it's so exciting, isn't it? It's your special day, and we didn't quit on you this week. And all of your fans, everybody's all so excited. Yes! Alright, so I'm sorry I skipped last week, guys. Like I said, it's just been absolutely crazy. But uh, this week, I think I've got a pretty good episode for you guys. Nothing really too crazy in terms of, like, we didn't get a giant ball pit full of balls. We didn't go to the beach or anything insane like that. But uh, just some, some funny little happenings around the house over the past, uh, past week or so. Uh, we're going to be trying some limes. Cooper's going to lock himself in the bathroom. All kinds of funny stuff's going to happen. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. So this is just a, uh, a quick example of some of the shenanigans I deal with with Cooper on a daily basis. So I woke up this morning and uh, I like I come out in the, the living room and I see Coda and man, Coda's shedding really bad right now. You guys can see all the hair. Literally was clean last night before I went to bed. I woke up this morning and it looks like that. So uh, it's getting crazy out here. But um, yeah, so I wake up and I see Coda, I'm like, you know, good morning Coda, whatever, pet him a little bit. And I'm like, where the heck is Cooper? Because Cooper's always like, he really likes to lay right next to the door. Like, I'll shut the door and, and sometimes we'll let him in, sometimes we don't. But um, usually if he's not allowed in the room, he's laying right next to the door. And I'm like, that's weird that he's not there. So I'm like, I'm looking around, I come in here, not in the laundry room. Look at my office, not in the office. I'm like, where in the world could this guy be? And I'm like yelling his name. Nobody's making a sound, but listen to this. Cooper. 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 Hey, Coopy. You see that little shadow moving around? He is in the bathroom, all right? So obviously he shut the door on himself. And the, the funnier thing is, he also locked it. Not quite sure how he locked it. I think this door is kind of touchy and it kind of locks itself pretty easily. But he is locked in the bathroom and <laughs> he did it by himself. I have no clue how he did it. I have no clue how long he's been in there. But he locked himself in the bathroom. And as you guys can see, this isn't necessarily a lock that takes like a, a key. But it's a good thing because I've been playing Fallout 4. So you guys know you use bobby pins to pick doors. So what we're going to do is I don't think that's gonna fit so this is just a, a little tip for you guys if you have doors like this that just have like the the just straight up little hole in it uh, I'm gonna have to put you guys down so I can take this out what you do is you can take a bobby pin or pretty much anything else like if you have a really skinny like little rod or something like that that's what she said just anything that is just straight and you can straighten out you can use a paper clip I guess is this gonna focus on it I don't think it's going to focus on it. Anyway, so you just you straighten it out, and then if you stick it right in here... Oh, that didn't really work, did it? What the heck? Oh, man. There it is. Goopy! I let you out! Oh my gosh, how long were you locked in there? Look how happy he is! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Cooper. Why'd you do that to yourself? You realize I didn't lock you in there, right? Alright, we're gonna go potty, because you probably really have to go potty. So yeah, just an average day saving Cooper from himself because he locks himself in the bathroom. He's, he's a freak. Alright, anyway. Oh, one more thing I want to show you guys. So this is actually making me really sad. So Coda's kind of shedding right now, and that's because he has like skin allergies and stuff. I don't know if he's necessarily supposed to shed, but he like, he gets really itchy and, and like itches at him himself and stuff. We're gonna take him to the vet and try to get it figured out. But Cooper is also shedding because Cooper's actually losing his puppy here. Cooper, come here. Hey, say and settle down for a sec. Look at this. Look at all these little pieces you can just, just pull out. Cooper, is becoming a man, boys, and it's making me really, really sad. So, Cooper, come here. Let's go potty. Good boy. All right, just a quick little update for you guys. Catch you in a bit. 
So as you guys know, Chelsea teaches preschool and uh, occasionally it's kind of like a little side hustle. She'll do some babysitting because she really likes it and it's a you know kind of secondary form of income. And uh, sometimes it's for uh, kids that she actually teaches. So Alex and Avery were over the other day and uh, actually I really, really liked them. We've taken them to Disney and stuff like that. They're super, super sweet kids. And uh, I think Avery has a bit of a crush on me. But uh, uh, they were over the other day and uh, we haven't cleaned up this ball pit yet. I have no clue what to do with it. So it's been kind of sitting out there. And they saw it and obviously that's exciting for a little kid. So they wanted to play in it. And uh, Cooper was happy to oblige. So... Uh, Let's see what happens. Somebody looks a little bit guilty, huh? What do you have all over you? Welcome to another day in the life of Cooper, guys. So I just went out to breakfast with my mom and girlfriend, and uh, we come back. We were gone for literally like 40 minutes, like no, no more than that. And you know, obviously, oh, well, Cooper's kind of sniffing it now. Uh, you know, Cooper doesn't like it when we leave, and oftentimes he'll like chew up a box or you know kind of take some you know paper out of the trash or something like that and chew that up is like a, oh hey i don't like that you left me stuff like that so we've been working on that but it looks like today cooper sit it looks like today he wanted to look fabulous and he got into chelsea's foundation look at the side of his face cooper stay stay look over here Stay. He keeps trying to look directly at the camera. I'm trying to get the side of his face. Come here, Coop. Come here, Coop. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at that. Look at the side of his face. It's not a very natural color, Coop. I don't think this one really matches your skin tone. Look at that down there. He's got it all over himself. I'm hoping he didn't eat too much of it. Obviously, that stuff wouldn't be good for a dog to eat. Uh, I don't think it's too toxic, though. So we're going to keep an eye on him. He seems like he's pretty okay. He seems pretty happy. But uh, this is just the stuff I deal with on a daily basis. And in case you guys were wondering what the best way to clean off a golden retriever with makeup all over him, the first step is to grab his favorite tennis ball. And the second step is to throw it in the pool. Go get it. That's how you clean them off. I actually think we might have a little uh, little process here. He brought it over and he dropped it on the thing, the like side of the pool right there, and it's angled down. So it rolled all the way down back here. So I'm gonna be able to pick it up because this is all wet right here because it just, it actually, we have them like summer showers right now. So it's like, there's sunshine, but it's also raining. So it's all wet, so I don't want to get my socks wet. So we're gonna be able to grab this, throw it to him again. Good boy. We'll see if he does it again. Cooper. Oh, you missed it this time, dude. Just keep swimming around because you got some some work to do to get that makeup off. <laughs> <laughs> so Chelsea tried to give them limes. As you guys can see, we made like some really good. Ooh, that that That's doesn't water. look good. Uh, it was like almost like Chipotle bowls, like homemade Chipotle bowls. Obviously, Cody didn't like it. He had a pretty funny reaction. I wasn't out here yet. But she said that you guys just had to see how Cooper would react. So we'll see what he thinks. <laughs> he keeps picking it up and then spitting it out. His tail wagging. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's like when you give babies lemons and stuff. Cooper. Oh. <laughs> but he's he's not smart enough to not take it again. <laughs> Cooper, come here. What do you think? <laughs> For his entire life, he's been so 
food motivated. He loves food more than anything else in the entire world. Like all the other dogs in puppy class, you use toys with them. So you would like entice them with playing to do what you were asked them to do. Cooper, he was always 100% food. Didn't care about toys, didn't care about praise, didn't care about anything, he wanted food. So the most food motivated dog in the world wants nothing to do with a lime. <laughs> so shady. <laughs> he does not trust you. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> he'll take it because he trusts you and then he'll spit it out because he doesn't like it. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got home from dinner. Boys, stay here. Stay here. Koda, come here. Come here. We just got home from dinner and we walked in no. to this over here. You see this? Somebody, somebody got into the trash. They tore it all over the house. And we're going to find out who it was. Well, I mean, one of them's kissing up to me right now. The other one's off, acting awfully guilty. Um, <laughs> boys, Cooper, come here. Hey, who did this? <laughs> who did this? I wonder who it was. Could it be this one? Or could it be this one? <laughs> If you guys think it's this one, leave a comment down below. If you guys think it's this one, you're totally wrong because it's definitely this one. Cooper, are you serious?